Fog Football back, guys, with another match preview, and we have got Motherwell taking on Celtic. Last time out in the Scottish Premiership, even though it was yesterday, but technically, in terms of the teams that matter, the old firm, not that the rest of them don't matter, but you know what, the title fight is what you want, and is there a title fight? Well, I said in my channel, it's done. I think it honestly... I mean, it's not 100% done, but I think you've just got to do the math. Rangers have been shite all season, really not played good. And scraping games like Celtic, albeit, right, when they've collapsed defensively, they've collapsed, but they've shown even in those games, like, going forward, like, against Real Betis, you know, like, Leverkusen, they were still great going forward, even though they conceded it. But with Rangers, it's just been, like, getting across the line. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's been not been good. And in my opinion, I think it's done. We, Rangers need Jack and Ramsey, because Jack, when he came on, was a fucking difference maker, and we need Ramsey to hit the ground running. Morelos just back for Columbia duty, which he did fuck all in. Um, we need him as well. We need everyone to turn up, because it feels like for so long, the players have been just fucking, oh, it was all right, we've got 55, that's it, we'll just coast this season, get Champions League. It's not going to be like that, because if they fucking want it, they're going to need to fight, right? But... On this Sunday, another it could be another potential turn in the title race because Motherwell, um, they've lost Tony Watt, big miss for Motherwell. You can't deny that. Um, and they're taking on Celtic. And you look at Fir Park; it's always a ground where the old firm look at. It's like, oh, that could be potential uh, points drop. Death and Shootley, you know. Um, and I don't know. I, I don't really know. If there's going to be points dropped, I'm fucking praying for as many points dropped as possible. I'm praying for a mother will win. But is it going to happen? I don't know. Um, you know, Alexander's expecting most of his players to brush off Knox. Um, Liam Shaw's fit. But he can't play because obviously loan rules. He's on loan from Celtic. But, you know, in terms of... Um, Celtic, you've got to assume it will pretty much be the same team that featured against Rangers, because, I mean, it was pretty good. You can't deny that. It was pretty great. Rio Hitati, I think he'll be fucking playing, man. Um, fucking hell. I buried the J... Since I buried the Japanese, like, I kind of, like, ripped the piss out of them, hoping that we'd win, and then be like, ah, oh, look, they're all shite. But I know they're not shite. Re fucking Furuhashi looks great. Well, no, he is. No, that looks great. He has been great. You know what I mean? Well, Hatati, you could argue it's only been a couple of games that's shown on a consistent basis. But what he's shown so far, fuck's sake, man. He looks like the best midfielder in the league after fucking a couple, like, scoring worldies, getting assists. You know? Um, all, yes, like I say, he's got to show on a consistent basis. But at the same time, fuck. If you're a Celtic fan, you must be feeling confident. Rangers fan here, shiting himself. It was looking like it was nailed on for us to win the league. It should have been. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've been guilty in the past to talk about Celtic were very stagnant when Rangers, you know, were in the lower leagues and just got promoted and shit. They didn't really buy anyone. They really improved the squad. It was kind of just, they sold on. You know, they could have made a push for Champions League when Rangers weren't in the leagues, but they were kind of saying, oh, what, what's the point of spending money for just the Champions League? And then their squad kind of just, you know, thinged. But we also, I'm not saying, because Rangers still signed players this season, but it was kind of like Celtic were just top. And then they they gradually just got that much worse over a season. But what with us? But with Celtic, at least you could argue, fuck, they had nine years, nine in a row. With us, it was one season. And it looks like the players just went, ah, fuck it. We've won it. That was the big one. Fuck this season. You know, and there seems to be an element of, we'll turn up and win games. No. You need to just fucking turn up and actually play well to win the games, not just turn up. And there seems to be so many of that mistakes pitched defensively. Again, for the life of me, I do not understand why John Suter was not signed in January. Do not understand. But in terms of this game, guys, I'm going to go with a Celtic win. I don't really see anything other than that, but I'm hoping for that. I'm going to go 3-1 Celtic. I'm going to go with Atati to get one. I'm going to go with Giamukas to get one. Because, I mean, fuck me. How he didn't score against Rangers, I, I thought he had a shocker, to be honest. I mean, yes, he did well like up against the centre-backs, you know, and he was a threat. But come on, man, he could have... If he had his shooting boots on, if it was Furuhashi, it could have been about 8-0 going into half-time. That's not even an exaggeration. You know what I mean? Because every shot he hit was straight at McGregor. But anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.